Hi everyone, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I did this eye look using the Tati Beauty palette. So Coastal Sense actually reached out to me and asked if I would partner up with them to kind of show off some of their products. Um, this video isn't sponsored and I will obviously tell you guys my honest opinion at all times. So I will leave timestamps for the eye and then I will leave a timestamp for the face makeup in which I use a lot of the Coastal Sense makeup. But actually throughout the video I do use their brushes so if you are interested to see how their brushes work, I am going to do an eye look and a face look. So timestamps will be down below and let's go ahead and just jump into it. Okay, so this full set right here is $4 actually, and it's actually really, really good. As you guys can see, I, these brushes are a little bit dirty because I have been using them, and they're really good. They come with four face brushes, and then they come with four eye brushes. So I've been using these quite a bit. These are really, really good. This is part of like the, the Elite brush collection. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you the bigger brush version of this. Okay, so in this brush case, it comes with 24 makeup brushes, and this is the Elite 24 piece makeup brush set. I will leave everything linked down below just because it's a lot to say. But it does come in this like uh, fake leather bag, which is actually really, really nice. Like I feel like brush bag is even nicer than the brush bag that the Kylie Cosmetics brush bag came in. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it and show you guys all the brushes. So these are 24 brushes that it comes in with. So in today's video, I'm only gonna use Coastal Sense brushes, so I'm going to use the brush set that I showed you guys before and this one as well so I'm going to do my face makeup and my eye makeup so I will be using a good range of these brushes to test out and see how they are. Okay so this one actually is my favorite because it is pink and this is the Brush Affair Collection in 12 piece makeup brush set in Cherry Blossom and I'm gonna go ahead and open it up like I mentioned it comes with 12 brushes and it's like a range of face and eye brushes and this retails for $20 so I think it's a really really good deal considering it comes with 12 brushes and a lot of them are face and eyes so all of the brushes that I use today are only gonna be Coastal Scents so I'm gonna use a wide variety of all of the three brush sets I just showed you guys so I'm gonna go ahead and now get into the video all right so I'm gonna go ahead and actually pick up the cherry blossom brush set just because I really really like the pink so I'm going to sort of switch between using this brush set and the elite brush set so alright so the first brush I'm picking up is this bonding brush so I'm gonna go ahead and now dip into the Tati Beauty palette there is no name on these brushes so all I know is that it is a blending brush and it comes in the cherry blossom set okay so picking up the blending brush from the brush set I'm gonna go in with ritual which is the dark brown matte right here and I'm going to add a little bit onto my brush and just tap off a bit. Now I'm going to add Ritual into the crease and I want to start with a darker color and then go in with the lighter mattes in this palette. And I'm going to pat 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 that down to get the most pigment. And my eyes are already primed with the P. Louise base. If you don't have a eye primer base or anything like that, I recommend just going in with concealer. And I didn't do my face makeup because I'm gonna go ahead and do that afterwards. So this is just about what the shape should look like. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing to the other eye. Okay, so once you have this eye shape going on, I'm going into the Cherry Blossom set and I'm picking up this tapered blending brush right here and I'm gonna go into the palette. I'm gonna go in with this matte shade right here, which is Soothe, which is that lighter brown shade. And I'm just going to apply that on top of Ritual and make sure you tap off any excess. All right, so I'm just going to apply that right on top of Ritual right here and just blend out the shadows going back and forth. All right, and I'm just picking up this a clean blending brush from the Elite brush set. Okay, so I'm actually going to pick up this brush just because it's a bit tapered at the end. And I'm gonna go in with Ritual just because I wanna add a little bit more into the crease and make that look a little bit darker. So I'm just gonna dip back into Ritual, the matte one. So I'm getting the brush and I'm just sticking it right there, like kind of where you have a bit of an indent in your eye. Sticking that back and forth and I'm gonna go back and forth with it. I'm picking up this flat shader brush, which is really, really good for cutting the crease. It's like synthetic and I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my P. Louise base and Rumor 01 and this is from the Cherry Blossom set. I'm going to wipe off a little bit and then cut my crease. Okay, so I'm placing this base on my eye. I'm 
and I'm patting that down. All right, so while this base is still wet, if you went in with concealer while it's still wet, I'm gonna go ahead and actually dip into the Tati palette, and I'm actually going to work with three metallics. So the three metallics that I'm going to use for this eye look is Aura, so I'm gonna use the lightest shade here for the inner corner of the lid, and then for the middle part of the lid, I'm gonna go ahead and use Story. And then for the outer end, I'm gonna go ahead and use Ritual, so it becomes sort of a gradient. All right, so I'm dipping into Aura Metallic and I'm using this flat shader brush from the Elite brush set. And this one actually has a number on it. This is BRB S20. All right, so I'm going to add Metallic Aura into the inner corner. And I'm just going to bring that one third of the way and leaving space for the other shades. All right, so I'm grabbing Metallic Soothe and I'm just grabbing this other brush from the Elite brush set and this one is BRB S05. And I'm going to add that right in the middle of the lid. I'm just going to pick up this brush and this is Matte Ritual and I'm just applying it right here right next to Soothe. And I actually really like how this brush is angled. Um, it's actually making it really easy to apply. All right, so I'm just gonna use my finger to blend these two shadows together, Soothe and Ritual. And I know there's kind of like a weird little part right here, so I'm gonna go in with the darker matte shade to clean that up. Now I'm just going to pick up the first brush I use to apply Aura, the metallic shade, and just apply a little bit more and sort of blend it in with Soothe. And I'm sort of going sideways because I want this to look like a gradient, like it gets lighter to darker. I think that just looks really pretty on the eyes. I'm going to pick up the first blending brush that I used to pick up Matte Ritual with, which is the really, really dark brown shade in the Tati Beauty palette. I'm going to add that right here and I'm just going to apply that and then sort of go sideways to mix it in with this metallic shade. So I'm actually really happy with how this look looks like. I think it looks really good. If you want to leave it like this and just pop on some lashes, mascara, eyeliner, whatever, you could leave it like this. But I'm going to go in and just make this look even more extra just because I want to use as many shades from this palette as I can. I'm going to go ahead and actually pick up this gel liner. This is from Sigma. This is the shade Stunningly Ladylike. It's like a dark brown uh, black gel. And I'm picking up this really, really small, I feel like you can barely see it, pencil brush from the Elite brush set and it is in BRBS15. So I'm actually going to create sort of like a really thick wing because I want to apply glitter on that wing just to be extra. And I'm just dipping back into the gel liner to make this darker and to make it thicker as well. And I'm going to make it stop right here. Okay, so I'm gonna dip back into the palette. I think I'm actually gonna work with two glitters. So let me show you guys the glitters that I'm going to choose. All right, so I'm going to pick up this one right here, which is Soothe. I just love the gold in it. And I'm actually going to use a angled brush like this. This is really good for applying liner, but this is actually gonna be really good for applying the glitter. So I'm gonna use this brush, and then I actually think I'm going to apply a little bit of Ritual Glitter. So I'm gonna go in first with Soothe, and then this one. So we're gonna have two glitters going on. All right, so typically I actually would put glitter primer onto my lids, like onto my liner. But because I did put on gel liner, and gel liner is like a little bit more tackier than regular liner. I don't really, I'm not gonna go in with glitter primer, but I do recommend going in with glitter primer whenever working with these glitters because they are not eye safe. So you wanna avoid it getting in your eye as much as possible. And I'm just using this medium angled brush. And this is in BRB S18 from Coastal Scents. And the way I'm applying this glitter is I'm literally just pat, pat, patting that down. I'm going to take a little bit off this brush and I'm going to dip into Ritual Glitter.
Okay, so this is the finished look. I'm gonna go ahead and add black onto the waterline and then pop on some false lashes. Okay, so the lashes I'm going in with are these bandless ones. Okay, so now that I'm done with that eye look that took forever, I'm gonna go now and do my face makeup. Like I said, I'm gonna try to use a lot of Coastal Sense brushes. So I'm actually picking up this brush from the Cherry Blossom set. And it's like a flat shader brush, so it's gonna be really good for applying my foundation. So before I go in with foundation, I'm going in with my favorite primer, which is the Pores No More Primer. This is from Dr. Brandt. Okay, so actually I'm gonna use this brush just because it's really stiff to apply my primer and just see how it works. This is the BRB S45, and this is from the Natural Elite um, brush set. So I'm actually using a brush versus my fingers just because my hands are covered in glitter. All right, so I'm actually gonna grab this Kama Quad, and this is also from Coastal Scents, and I'm gonna use the green right here to apply that over my redness, and that's gonna help cancel out any redness. So I have a lot of redness on my chin, so I'm going to apply it there. I actually just started using this like after they sent this to me complimentary and I actually do like it. I like it because it is pretty green whereas I've had other ones that are a little bit lighter green but I do feel like uh, using a little bit of a darker green does help out with the redness. And then when I'm applying that on top I'm sort of just blending it into the skin so it's not just sitting right on top of there. Okay, so once I've done that, I'm ready to go in with foundation. So I'm actually picking up two foundations. So this is the Fenty Beauty one, and this is in the shade 290. This is the Pro Filter one, the matte version. And I'm picking up my Too Faced Light Beige. I'm going to mix those two foundations really quick on my hand, and then I'll apply it to my face. Okay, so I'm picking up another product from Coastal Scents, and this is their Concealed Palette. It has a bunch of concealers in here and color correctors. This is the Unicardin and I'll open it up for you guys. It's got 10 concealers and 10 color correctors. I'm gonna go in with the flat shading brush from the Elite Brush Set in BRB S23. So, I'm a little nervous to use this because I haven't used something like this in a really, really long time. So, let's see how this goes. I'm gonna go in with that shade right here and I'm gonna mix it with a little bit of this lighter, sh lighter shade here just cause I like a really bright under eye. These actually feel pretty creamy. Let's see how they work. So it's coming on really, really creamy. It doesn't seem to be patchy or anything. And I will put the price point for this palette right here. So this is actually coming on really, really, really nicely. The only thing I would be worried about is the long wear on this. All right, so I'm actually gonna mix these two contour shades together. Curious to see how this blends. Because if this blends good, I honestly would pick up another one of these because I do really like cream contour. So I'm going to pick up a duo fiber brush. This is not from Coastal Scents, but I feel like going in with a duo fiber brush looks best when doing your contour. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I'm just really, really curious to see how this blends out. To clean up underneath here. But honestly, I am not mad how that looks like. That looks actually not bad. So I'm gonna use the leftover of my brush just to contour my nose. All right, so I am done blending out everything from the concealed palette. Let me hold it up again for you guys to see. I actually really like that palette. So the concealers in there or the contour shades were very creamy, very easy to blend. They were actually easier to blend than some other high-end contour creams that I have, so that was really interesting to see that. Obviously, it looks good on right away. We just have to see how it would look throughout the day, so that's what I would be interested to see, like how it would wear throughout the day, but so far, it's so good. Like, I'm actually in shock, and it's actually really affordable. I'm actually gonna wear this throughout the day. I wasn't planning on wearing it throughout the day, but now I am. And I will let you guys know in the comments below how it does end up wearing throughout the day. So I am going to go in with a little, little bit of powder. This is from Fenty Beauty and this is in Banana. All right, so I am just going to apply that powder all over the face and just dust a little over. All right, so Coastal Scents also sent over this six 
contour blush set and I'm gonna open it up for you. It has highlight, contour, and blush shades. So this shade right here is super, super light. It's actually the color white, but maybe this would be really nice and mixed with another shade. But um, yeah, the, the pans on here are huge. Like this, I was so in shock when I opened this up and I saw this and I was like, what? Like the pans in here are huge. So I'm gonna go in and just mix these two blushes together. I All right, so I'm picking up one of the brushes from the Elite brush set. This is in BRBS27. The brushes are actually really, really soft and easy to use. So, so I'm gonna mix these two shades together and I'm just going to mix it on my hand too so I don't add too much onto my face. Whew, that is pigmented. All right, that is really, really pigmented, but if you like a really pigmented blush, then this is for you. Okay, so I'm just going to spray my face down to kind of calm this down a bit, and this is the Scandinavia Setting Spray. Love the setting spray, it's really, really good. I use the bridal version, this is really good. It helps your makeup last all day. Okay, so I'm actually going to pick up the Sugar Advanced Therapy, and I got this from a gift set from Sephora. I have like two of these, so I'm going to go ahead and apply this to the lips before I go in with any other lipstick. And this makes your lips so soft, and it makes them smell so, so good. And this was actually sent to me complimentary by Fresh. They sent like two gift sets, and I really like this one because it has like no tint to it, so I like to go in before I go in with lipstick. All right, so on my lips, I'm gonna go in with Clove and Hallow, and this is Desert Rose, and this is a lipstick. It's just like a really light lipstick. All right, you guys, so this is the finished look. I just want to talk about like what I liked from Coastal Scents and what I didn't like. So I will start off with the brushes. So the brushes I actually really liked a lot. They were actually really, really soft. So the Cherry Blossom one, I really, really loved, and I love that it's pink. So that one actually retails for $20. So I love, love the face brushes in that. Um, the eye brushes were okay to me. Like sometimes I had a little bit of difficulty working with them. I think I'm just really, really used to using Sigma brushes, like eye brushes. But I feel like the face brushes from Coastal Scents are really, really good. And they're really soft and really easy to use. And I will definitely be using them again. As for the eye brushes, they were good, but I feel like I really just love my Sigma eye brushes. Like, I feel like those are the best ones. And like when I was doing the eye look, I was like, I really just want to pick up my Sigma eye brushes. So I'm so used to using them. And I that and I actually really want to film now a video of my favorite Sigma eye brushes just because when using it, I was like, wow, like I really love Sigma eye brushes. Um, for the Elite 24 piece makeup set, I really like that one too. I actually really like the case it came in. Like it came in that black, like I think it's fake leather case, but that is such a nice case to come in for only like $35 and it comes with 24 brushes, which is such a good deal. So like remember when Kylie came out with that brush set, which was just ridiculous, like that cheapy silvery brush roll. So, so to start off, I use the Camo Quad Concealer Color Corrector. I've used this before and I really, really like it. The green in it is very pigmented and it doesn't like add another layer to your skin. It just like blends in really nicely. So. This Kama Quad concealer is really, really nice, and if you do makeup on other people, you want to definitely have this in your makeup kit, something like this. All right, so for this blush palette, the blushes are very, very pigmented. I didn't have a chance to use these, but I mixed these two together, and it was very pigmented. Like, I should have gone in with a lot less, but I didn't hate it. Like, I feel like if I was in a rush, like, I would actually really, really love using this because so much goes on at once. So I surprisingly actually really, really like this concealed palette. Um, it actually was really, really creamy, and then the contour shades were really easy to blend. I actually found it easier to blend than some other higher-end contour palettes I have. My only worry would be like, how long would this last throughout the day? So I am going to wear this for the rest of the day, and then I'll let you guys know in the comments below how it wore. Okay, so overall, I actually was really happy with the way everything worked from Coastal Scents. All right, you guys, so that is pretty much it. Um, I'm gonna log off now. Make sure to subscribe. Bye guys